Okay, let's test out the solar panel today on the battery pack. The voltage currently is 10.11. Okay, and if we do it a gentle 11 volt constant voltage, um, if we begin to charge it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the circuit or close the circuit. And I'll let this charge the cells. When I press the button, it's gonna go, okay, almost three amps maybe 2.5 if we let it settle. So it's accepting 2.5 amps at first. Yeah, it's gonna be steadily um, dropping down, but that's basically what we got. So turn it off, constant voltage just sits here. The 0.3 amps is actually, it's probably, I um, hmm. don't know where that's going. What happens if we unplug? Okay, zero amps. And uh, so let's take it outside. Okay, the sun just came out right, at, uh, right as I was um, coming down here. So this is good. Let's see how many volts we get without any load. Woo, it's warm. This is nice. Okay, put this on the source side. The meter says 21.7 volts. And if we crank this up towards the sun, that's pretty much it. Oh, now the clouds are coming out. 21.1 volts. Here's how it looks. Twenty, twenty-one. Okay. And then if we hook it up to the battery, then what are we gonna get? And I'm being a little bit reckless because um, you know, I don't know the details of how the my battery protection board is set up. Ooh, and I have I have two. Uh, this is a double connector. I don't know if it's gonna hook up. Um, okay. Well, first the circuit's open. I'm gonna unplug the motor driver so there's nothing else. It's just the battery, and um, here's what the battery pack looks like. Circuit is open. Uh, I think it's making contact. It's not fully seated, but okay. Now, 5.1 watts, 10.43 volts. So the voltage on this thing, the voltage on my meter is nearly the same as what the battery cells said when they were um, disconnected from everything. So, we got 3.9 watts. That's probably the most we're gonna get because there's nothing sitting in between this source and our load, except for, you know, the protection circuit. 3.9 watts. That's not too bad. It advertises it can do 10 watts and probably if we allow the voltage to be higher, um, a different kind of load, we would get all 10 watts. And I bet the sun can get a little more intense. We have some cloud cover. Let's see what happens if I tilt. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold everything in view. Um, so we're getting 4.5 watts, 3.9. Wow, it's almost directly overhead. 4.7 watts, 4.8, five, nice. That is just wonderful. So two two solar panels, and you and you truly do uh, sustain enough power to to run the whole robot, because the the robot uses seven watts um, from our last measurement. That's while running Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and driving the, the motors and of course um, running python programs on the on the microcomputer okay so previously we um, checked the power consumption of the whole robot when it's doing i'm left handed i'm just going to stand over here to be a little bit in the shadow so the power budget is going to have wi-fi Bluetooth sometimes if you're using the gamepad motors 
And this is uh, cruising around. It's not carrying a payload in this previous test. And all of this, and of course the um, Raspberry Pi or Beagle microcontroller, microcomputer. This is all seven watts, and that's pretty reliable as a figure. When you stop mo driving the motor, it goes almost down to 3.5. So then you have the, the solar panel. Um, and this thing is rated at 10 watts. And then the price was only 11 USD. That's crazy. It was it was like 44 ringgits um, here in Malaysia. Okay, and that's rated at 20 something volts, something like this, 22 volts. Since we were um, we were pulling that down to only around uh, 10.5 volts, we got. Five watts. You can't make more power by changing the voltage, but you can. Um, mm, I won't try to explain. So it's, it's a little tricky, and I have partial understanding. But I do expect that if we put two solar panels, and then we put them in series. Well, first of all, putting them in parallel, you, you can double it for sure. So that gets you, that gets us um, uh, 20, 10 watts. So that's more than enough to sustain driving as long as the sun is out. Um, and as long as the sun is in the range, kind of midday range. We have to check morning and evening range. Um, but if you put them in parallel uh, series, then we're going to be letting them, mm, no, no, I won't make any assumptions about series until we do uh, testing later on. All I know is for $22, we can get our 10 watts for sure, and you have a, a self-sustaining robot out on its own.